After a wonderful meal and a restful night's sleep, we awoke at Inverlochy Castle to a beautiful day. ordered scotch pancakes and was surprised by what I received. My pancake was literally a small cake that had been made in a pan. So we are taking a little drive today and we will certainly, when this trip is over, add the driving um, of Scotland to the wonderful, interesting, challenging drives that Mrs. Carnes and me have taken. This road is tiny and very curvy and very windy. The scenery is out of this world. It's sort of a combination of driving in Ireland and driving the road to Hana at the same time. There's so many little, look at this, here's a, another double, double curve that we're going back into here. It's just one curve after another curve after another hill. There's not a straight stretch of road more than about a quarter of a mile in all of Scotland, I don't think. But it's certainly been a beautiful and scenic drive, and my navigator is doing a fantastic job. Maybe not. I thought I heard something. Yeah, I do hear something, Clint. Put your phone ready. That's it. It's coming. It's coming. Hear it? It's coming. I do. thinking. Scott Rail is on strike today. The train is not running like it's supposed to. Um, anything you want to say to that, Mrs. Carnes? Mm -hmm. Anything you want to say to that? After an amazing time at the Glenfinnan Viaduct, or the Harry Potter train viaduct, we got back on the road and made our way to the Maleg Ferry Terminal. 
This bustling and thriving port is in Lochmer, on the west coast of the Highlands of Scotland, along the famous Road to the Isles. The ferry is a 30-minute sail to Armadale and cost 18 euros. So we're just south outside of Malag. Is this just the most beautiful view here? The ocean. I've always said that anywhere in the world where the mountains and the ocean come together, it's just beautiful. Surf popping up there. We are the last people getting on to the earlier ferry than what we were supposed to get on to. Only because the people in front of us were traveling together and so they couldn't take them. They could only take us. Your safety is our highest priority and therefore we ask you to please look carefully to the following safety information. We operate a fleet of well-equipped vessels on all our routes throughout the west coast of Scotland. In the unlikely event of an emergency, you will be informed by means of an emergency signal, consisting of seven or more short blasts, followed by one year-long blast on the ship's whistle, alarm bell, or public address system. On hearing this signal, you should proceed directly to your nearest muscle station. All the time for you, sit down. The location of muscle stations and the nearest life-saving appliances for the world, including life rafts and life boys, on the last one on. On the ferry. From Malag to somewhere, I'm not sure where we're going, we're going to the Isle of Sky. Isle of Sky, yeah. Next stop, Isle of Sky. Sky. Mrs. Carnes just pointed out that we've been on a, a plane, a train, we've driven our own automobile, we're on a ferry taxi. boat now, we've ridden in a taxi. I think the only thing we need is a rickshaw. If we could get someone to pedal us around on a rickshaw, we would have been through all, and we've walked a lot too. We've walked uh, a we've lot. As a mode of transportation, Uphill. we haven't ridden a bike. Oh no, I haven't done a bike. Let's Let's see if see. I can avoid that during my trip. But <laughs> um, it's been a trip, uh, a trip full of transportation. Very much. And this is, uh, this is kind of how many nice. times in your life bad. can you ride on a ferry in the North Atlantic? Yeah, really, pretty cool. While filming on the ferry, I made a new friend. This sweet lady told me she rides the ferry daily to her job. She was very interested in my camera and asked to see it. She also asked why we were in Scotland, and when I told her I was a Cameron, her response was, well, at least you're a Highlander. 
I guess that was a compliment. At least I'm taking it as one. off the ferry <laughs> welcome now to we're back south on sky <laughs> we're on the isle of sky Woo -woo. we made it i guess i should have said welcome to the isle of sky there's the welcome sign continue on a 851 for 15 miles it's in um, gaelic Mr. Carnes. Where are we? <laughs> I'm asking you that. I'm somewhere on the Isle of Skye, down by a little bay, completely surrounded by the highlands. Come on. Yeah. All sides. It's Crazy. Just in front of a lock. Spectacular panoramic. Yeah. I went all the way around. With a lock here. Or I don't know if this is a little bay from the ocean. I'm not sure what they call it, but I'm sure the water's salt water because the ocean's just literally right over there. Mm -hmm. So it's a little surreal. It is. It's pretty in there. Thanks for watching and please tune in next week as we explore the magical and beautiful Isle of Skye. If you haven't, please hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment. It really does help us and it's free. Until next week, we are living the good life.